Feature Friday. The Precious. <laughs> This is so cool! I love this movie just by the one video that we watched. It was so cool. Yes, a couple of movies that we have to watch. By Jaro Mastani, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's definitely Bajirao. one of them. By Jirao. Uh, and Padma Bahat is definitely another one of them. Uh, given just the musical score and the influences of music in everything, uh, this is Kali Bali. Yeah. Um, I don't know who's going to sing this. I think it's Shahid Kapoor, or maybe that's the actor. I don't I'm know. not too sure. But I just wanted to say as well, shout out to everyone getting merchandise. Obviously, yesterday we announced the Love Edition, which is limited edition for uh, February only. These are the tote bags. They're 100% organic. Uh, it's a bit of a shame, like, because... I should not be of a shame. It's what? just you can't get it after Feb, mate. You know, it's limited edition stuff. But it does ship worldwide. These are the black ones. And they're signed by Walucha. Yay! Um, but yeah, you, you can only get it on to the end of Feb. Mm -hmm. uh, they do ship worldwide. I, we have been getting a lot of questions, but yeah, shout out to everyone already getting it. It's unbelievable. It's only been like forty-eight hours, and we've sold a few, so that's awesome. Wow, oh, you guys are so cool, dude. But yeah, Padma Bad. All right, let's have a look. Holy shit! Okay, he does have a scar though. He does yeah, have a scar. Look. Uh, what creates that sound? I don't know. Good question. It's like Door. a string. It's like a string Bam. instrument. Could be a voice. Metallic. Wow, wow. I don't know. Let's... There's like a bounce to it. Could be voice voices. This dude is like possessed by thing, power. The funny thing about this movie, right? Like you guys said, I think the last song we checked out from this movie was Adi Jit, which had quite a Arab influence mm -hmm. uh, to it. Mm -hmm. So those instruments, they could literally be from anywhere. Basically. Go on. But yeah, he does look fucking enchanted. It's very hard to guess the plot of this movie. Yeah, so apparently this is like based in like real story, like like history. Right. The, what was he, like, like, a, like a, a, a emperor? I think so. Well, and he was, like, it? corrupt. He was, like, really bad. Really? Yeah. He does have a scar, though. Yes, but he, he didn't have the scar when he was in the bathtub. True. <laughs> so this is like, ah, you know? Wow. He's coming to full power. Here. That's what I freaking love about this film industry. You would never see the villain, the main character of the movie, just break into a freaking dance yeah. like this with such intensity and still maintain the core craziness that you saw right at the beginning. This is insanity. Yes, sir. He's speaking in Arabic. What a chord progression. Pull it back. Also, what a voice. Who's the singer? Yeah, I, th I think Crazy, it's... Crazy, um, dude. Could be Ravi Ranveer Singh. No, that's the, that's the actor. That's the big guy. That's, that's, the, that's, that's, that's the actor. Okay, go on. That's the buff guy. <laughs> Habibi. Dude, the freaking choreo in the background. That is Arabic, right? Yeah, that's Arabic. At Arabic. least the, the first few words in the beginning were. I don't know if the rest is. But... Huge influences at play here, especially, like, rhythmically speaking, it is definitely very, uh, yeah, Eastern influenced. Yeah. Obviously, that means so much more than just Arabic. Mm. Um, but it would be interesting because... To find out exactly which time period this was. Yeah, uh, I would love to know If that anyone too. could kind of let us know, go on. Also, just uh, the visual effect that you're seeing, that vibration that you're like... You know when people say that their skin is like electric, that they got this buzz under yeah. your skin? This is what it would be, a visual representation of it. You have the dancers that are going up and down and then he's like reverberating in the foreground. Mm. So you have this whole intensity, powerful play uh, in, the, in the visualization of the video. It's such a clever direction. You see, it's like you're shaking. Those are followers. Yeah, I think this is army. Yeah, but I mean, 
mean it in the sense that those are his followers. Yeah. In the the literal sense, that the reason why they dance with him is because he danced. That's right. And the reason why they're electric and they're super energized is because their leader is also super energized. And I don't know what he's saying. We will check out the lyrics at the end. But it seems like he's uh, calling to the gods of war. He's he is a. Uh, celebrate maybe it's already celebrating the victory or about to indulge in mm-hmm. in crimes against humanity but in order to do that you must be in, in a in a bizarre odd hyperactive elated st- well not elated but hyperactive state right, you, can't right. be ele- you can't be elated to to, to, to go to war well it depends depends on the you psychotic have to be euphoric no you have to be euphoric, uh, euphoric. Yeah. that's the word that's the word and uh, definitely there's a side of Euphoria here. I don't think it's celebration yet. This is not a dance no, about of celebration. To. Yeah, about to. yeah, but I think this is a preparation for sure. It feels like yeah, or preparing. He's proving, uh, like, my, I've got everything. Yes. Everything's gonna be cool. Like we got this kind of thing. Mm, mm. Do not worry. Those mere mortals, <laughs> comparison to us and We're our army. We're untouchable. Yeah, that's what it, that's, that's kind of, and especially those chord progressions of an ease and then power. And uh, especially with that percussion, which generates a sort of rhythm, well, obviously rhythmical, but it is sort of a, a, a enchanting lull, lulls you in because mm-hmm. it's so... Tum, ka, cha, kun, tum, yeah, ka, cha, and it's, ka, a, tum, it's ka, very earthy. It's a very earthy uh, uh, rhythmic section to grounded the song. For sure, yeah. Yeah, it's very grounded, so it, 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 it's, a, it's, a, it's a very tangible reminder between the the mind and the body yep. type of uh, function. Even the movements are very That's earthy right. and, and... They're very and grounded. They're pounding. Yes, the yes, floor. yes. That is so freaking cool. And see, they're barefooted. I, I hadn't realized they're barefooted. He's the it's only enough. one who's got, who's got shoes on. Right. Assembly by power. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I think this is heavy, heavy Ara- arabically influenced. Yeah, yeah the whole movie, the, from even, what you guys told me before. Even in the uh, choreography, it's very um, influenced by that. Yeah, again, I would love to know how accurate and who was the choreographer in this particular piece, because there's a lot of power play in in the in the um, in formations in the in the choreography itself. Um, even though they're dancing in unison, there's a lot of power play in the in the whole. Do you mean power dynamics in terms of social dynamics? Yeah, yeah. sure. Would make sense if some. Fantastic, holy guacamole! Honestly, I need to know who the freaking choreographer is and who was the director because that is just yeah, the, beautiful. Then you get the inclusion of the Spanish guitar with that. Uh-huh. Again, obviously seeing the, the natural progression of the geographical journey of music, that would be a, an adequate implementation there. But pull it, pull it just back to hear that again. Just there, just there. <laughs> Like feeling his ego. That's the best example there of what what we mean by like um or well, at least what I what I see, but like the details, obviously, of being barefoot and stuff mm-hmm. like that. They obviously, uh, uh, it, well, cinematography speaking, those type of details enhance the understanding of the dynamic between the emperor, or the king, or he is definitely at the he's the top dog, and everyone else. But the sense of he never really directly ever looks at them. No. Um, and then the music actually exemplifies this by the. All instruments are never above the vocalization. That's never, right. not even once. That's right. That's right. Right. Even in the moment of silence where the guitar comes in, that's the only time of disruption. But I think that might exemplify auditory, all the compliments he's receiving, all the this music, beauty. the 
the beauty of musicalization, right. where it's all just feeding his ego. He's being at the same enamored time. by the guitar, the love, but these are compliments, these are words. It's seducing to a certain extent. Exactly, there you yeah. go, yeah. And he's feeling his ego, he can't control it anymore. And he's thing. buzzing with this energy right within, and they're talking so loudly to him, he goes wild. Yeah, I yeah. love That's it. That's what it seems, anyways. Just, just an interpretation. I could be fucking wrong. We could completely be off the bat yeah. here, but this is insane. And if you actually look at the video, he never makes eye contact with them. Like, like uh, well, at one point, a couple of them the, he just, to interact. But I think the interaction is very generalized. There's never personalized eye contact with his crew. Well, the only person he actually makes physical touch with is so his, his advisor at the beginning. That's right. Well, I think probably the advice is telling him, you should probably lay off, mate. Fucking relax. And then he's oh, like, oh, don't worry, we'll be fine. Like, maybe, maybe the advisor is the venomous snake. You know, snake. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, who knows? It's always the ones that are closer to the top. That's right, that's right. <laughs> I'm just based on books and stuff, I don't know, in real life, but yep. <laughs> <laughs> When they That's when brilliant. they're being lulled in, they also create the oh. So there's it's this mental. reverberating boiling of the blood. Yeah. You know when you know when you're jacked up in adrenaline that you hear this buzzing that you, you hear your heartbeat buzzing in your mm -hmm. ears. Mm -hmm. You hear like zzz, you're like bust up. I think that's well, what that's he so represents. Good. That's it's probably the best so scene. Cool. Though. And the Arabic melismas right there in the middle. Gosh, this is per for sure the best part of the song. It's a great actor, that guy. It's fantastic. The army grew as well. Did you realize how big, like, it doubled in people? What it was? Oh, what? Who betrayed him? Oh, he he's dead. They shot him. They shot? What? They sh totally shot him. Oh, somebody from above. Oh, interesting. Betrayal. Oh yes, IMAX. That would be one of the movies that you'd have to watch in an IMAX setting. Hundred percent. I, 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 I cannot sell that enough. <laughs> like, especially I've never seen a Bollywood movie in IMAX. But the on, the only industry which I feel it would be worth to watch all of them in IMAX would be the Bollywood uh, movie industry because of the musical scores. Like, this isn't just about the video. Like, the video is like 50% of it. L truly, 50%. The music, the musical score is the other 50. It's never that equal. No. It usually is like 70%, you know, Visuals. visual stimulation and 30%. Yeah. Because I think most people... Um, well, I mean, look look how much we, we, we interject. We yeah. interact. We, we try and review so much so close. Because there's some geniuses, the people who fucking make this. So I, I think just out of respect is the way, right way to do it. That's right, I but agree. But in a movie, right, where you're sort of, you know, this this is obviously not a continuous listening experience. The way you, you sort that out is you go to the original and then you in, in, immerse yourself in that way. And then that's problem solved. Mm -hmm. But when you look at these reviews and stuff, you get the chance to then look closely at the details of both worlds. But when you're watching the movie in a continuous form, as normal people would, it's hard to appreciate both things unless both things are intertwined so well yeah. 
and they become one entity. But in this particular case, even though they are integrated into each other, and it's a very 50-50 ratio of both auditory stimulation and visual stimulation i find that this is one of those those experiences that you really have to be present that they really consume you and immerse you in their reality really quickly um and i i it's it's crazy though because it's it's not very often that you find this intensity and and power dynamic in a villain like character who is the main role the of the of the of of the movie yeah. and still maintain this whole theatric mm -hmm. thing to it without looking like a gimmick i'm interested you know? put, the, put the lyrics up i'm now fucking more interested than before to find out what what he's saying this has 352 million views holy shit it doesn't surprise me sir whoa doesn't seem like a surprise to me <laughs> English lyrics. Lyrics. Mm. Very popular movie, I would imagine. Yes, I think so. Kali Bali Kali Bali. So it's great lover, great crazy great lover, crazy great lover, beloved, beloved, Habibi, yeah, Habibi. Ever since I've worn the crown of love, my heart has forgotten about the world. My heart has gone crazy. Oh, so he's become lost because he's falling in love. I think and that that's thrown away the army's purpose the kingdom's could be could be could be but I also think this love that he is so openly talking about is the love for power go on the love for the chase mm. not love to someone specifically a girl a woman well I just she could have been the demise of the kingdom for yeah I just know. clocked it because the the poster yeah. It's a woman. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's the Pika. Ah. Yeah. Ever since I've but worn the, the crown of love, my heart has forgotten about the world. My heart has gone crazy. My heart has forgotten about the world. My heart has gone crazy. Ever since I've worn the crown of love, I've, my heart has forgotten about Kali the world. Kali ho. So that's what it means. Kali Bali means my heart. Uh -huh. Kali Bali. Kali Bali. The courts of my heart are all broken. The fireflies of sleep. Are upset with the nights. The oh. cords of my heart are broken. The fireflies of sleep are upset with the nights. The cords of my heart are broken. The fireflies. So it's like, yeah, it's very, very uh, uh, Loop. Ch chanting like song. Yeah. Okay, then it goes down. Bali, oh. I've come to st I've come to a stop at you after traveling the world. Great yeah, ones like me bow down in front of you. I'll read the holy verse of your love. It said that this is the religion of love. Now you've become the protector of my heart. My heart has forgotten about the world my heart has gone crazy I, yeah so definitely so i think definitely his his followers maybe encouraging he, him that you you are a leader you can push us but i think they definitely betrayed him for changing his mind about maybe his focus go down has shifted habibi habibi beloved beloved, beloved crazy, great lover, crazy great lover crazy great lover crazy great lover yeah this is the song of betrayal yeah it is y you were correct that is and it was probably the fucking guy he he asked at the he beginning. Was, the I advisor. think so. He's always the venomous close what snake. A prick. <laughs> what is, well, I mean, I think he was a cock, though. I think he life. was. Yeah, I think he was. But yes, Deepika Padukone. Uh, Padukone. Oh, and Ravin Singh. That's right. I think that, that is Kapoor, but it's Kapoor. The singer is Kapoor. Shahid. Shahid Kapoor. Check. Let's double check here. Just here, here, here. Oh, sorry. Kali Baleo. It won't say here, I don't think. It does. It usually it does. It, uh, it will say here at the bottom. Okay. Um, Camera operators. Bollywood in the voice of Shivan music by Shivan Patak. Oh. Is the singer. Wow. And then music by Sanjay Leela. Oh my god, that is so, so new cool. names. I would love to hear more about his music and other songs that he What has a voice done. he's got. He's yeah, he's got a really like Full of passion type of voice. It really engulfs you in it. Well, let us know what you guys thought about it. I really do appreciate all, all the comments and we really do uh, try and read everything. It's also obviously awesome that you guys enjoy the way we do things. Um, and also shout out to all of you getting the limited edition merch. We yeah, love you all. Truly, it means the world. And goodbye, guys. Goodbye.